the facelifted Renault Clio. The first thing you'll probably notice is the blue color. Isn't it better than the boring black or white that you usually see on the roads? But then also, there's also another very important thing, and that is that for the first time in the Renault Clio, you can get full LED headlights. Yep, no more frowning upon bigger, more expensive cars that boast with their brilliantly white headlights and lovely daylight LEDs. Now you can stuff all of that into the small Clio. You can also add the GT Line equipment, which brings 17 inch alloys, a more aggressive exterior, a bigger chromed exhaust tip, and sporty seats inside. I definitely like the look of the facelifted Renault Clio, a small but likable car, which the GT Line makes a little naughty. With an exhaust tip like this, everyone will think you have 300 horses under the bonnet. Inside, now you have softer, nicer materials, for example, on the dashboard. And also another very important thing, a lot of Clio owners have previously been complaining that this car is just simply too big to park normally. So now you have the option of automatic parking. Panic has thus been averted. The ocean liner that is the Renault Clio can now be safely and trouble-free parked in even the smallest parking spaces. If you'd like to see Renault's automatic parking in action, you can watch our video we made with the Espace. The sporty seats are optional, so you can opt to take only the exterior GT Line looks, which is good. I'll explain why. As far as the driving goes, it's a nice car. There is some occasional buzzing here and there, which is odd, as Renault trying to get away from cheap plastics and poor craftsmanship, even in their smaller cars. The fact that uh, they used some softer, nicer materials on the dashboard is good because the car doesn't feel as cheap as before and it's also much nicer. Um, this one with the GT Line equipment level has the GT Sporty bucket seats which have some crazy side support and uh, I thought I was, I was doing it wrong, I was looking for some switches to make it better but if you're about 50 to 60 kilograms, you might be uh, comfortable. If you're more like me, 90 to 100, uh, bleh, I wouldn't really recommend it. It's, well, it's not overly comfortable over long distances. This uh, test car also has the 1.2 liter turbo petrol engine, which is quite nice. I would uh, probably recommend it if you're going for the petrol engines. It's a lot of fun to drive, uh, especially on the road because the car is light enough so you can have some fun in the corners as I always say and it's also okay in the town. Um, consumption well average right now it's actually going down rather fast 7.7 .7. it was 8 before but of course that's because we were pressing the throttle a bit too much so realistically you're probably looking at a 6.5 maybe 7 uh, liters per 100 kilometers. Well then, GT Line exterior, yes, sporty seats, no. At least, not for me. The base model can be yours for 11,000 euros. The top of the line Clio with the most powerful diesel engine, automatic gearbox, and practically all the optional extras will cost you about 22,000 euros.